What I'm making for dessert is my ultimate ginger cookie. They're filled with spice, they're moist, they're delicious, and who doesn't like cookies? So the first thing I need is flour. I need two and a quarter cups of flour. I always just lighten it with a cup and just level it off without tamping it down. And I'm gonna do this all in a sifter. So I'm gonna sift all of these ingredients together, all the flour, spices. Two and a quarter. Perfect. One teaspoon of baking soda. And next, spices. First, two teaspoons of cinnamon. I use really good cinnamon. One and a half of cloves. That's a lot of cloves. They're really spicy. I know people think ginger cookies only have ginger in them, but I love when there are multiple flavors and it just sort of hits you different ways. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And the key is the balance, so that one spice just doesn't stand out. It sort of hits you layer after layer after layer. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt, just to make everything taste better. I know it sounds odd to put salt in sweet things, but you put them in savory things to bring out the flavors, and you put them in sweet things for exactly the same reason. And then just put it through the sifter. This is what the sifter is about. It actually mixes it, but if there are any little sort of pieces in the spices or the flour, it takes it out. Okay, that's the dry ingredients. Now for the wet ingredients. So the first thing I need is a cup of brown sugar. All of these ingredients add to the moistness and the spiciness of these cookies. A quarter of a cup of oil. Use any kind of flavorless oil that you have. A third of a cup of molasses. Molasses is actually the concentrated juice of sugar cane, so it's very sweet and very flavorful. You want to choose unsulfured molasses. It's the best quality. Smells good. I'm just going to beat these together for a minute while I get the egg ready. I want the sugar and the oil to be light and fluffy. Okay, next the egg. Got one egg. Okay, that's ready. I'm just going to put the egg in. Now I'm going to lower the speed and put all the dry ingredients slowly, just to make sure they get combined well. That's mixed perfectly. And now for the surprise, crystallized ginger. I love crystallized ginger. There's something about the heat and the sweetness of it that is just fantastic. So I'm going to do one and a quarter of cups of chopped crystallized ginger. OK, right into the mixture. Give it a little stir. And that's done. Now I'm just going to scoop it out and roll it in sugar and bake it. It's going to be so delicious. I usually use for cookies, I use this ice cream scoop. It ensures that they're all the same size. Roll it in my hands. And then roll it in the sugar. And what this does is make a nice crinkly crust on it. And it makes the whole cookie sparkle. So right on the pan, just flatten it out with your hand. This is gonna be a great dessert. Into the oven, 350 degrees for 12 minutes, and we're gonna have the most delicious ultimate ginger cookies for dinner. Ultimate Ginger Cookies.